Welcome to Understand Your Mandarin. In this video, we're going to learn the names of your siblings. In Chinese, we differentiate between older brother, younger brother, older sister, and younger sister. Older brother is ge ge, the first and the light tone. Ge ge. Younger brother is di di, the fourth and the light tone. Di di. If you want to refer to brothers collectively, you can say xiong di. Xiong is a traditional word for older brother. But xiong di, we currently, modern times, use it to mean more people that are not biologically related to you, but are great mates of yours that you consider to be your brothers. Now, older sister is jie jie, the third and the light tone. And younger sister is mei mei, the fourth and the light tone. If you want to talk about your sisters collectively, you can say jie mei. Jie means older sister and mei means younger sister. But normally when you're introducing people to your siblings, you directly specify whether they're your older or younger brother or sister. So we don't usually use xiong di or jie mei to refer to your biological siblings. Siblings in Chinese is a combination of one word from each type of sibling. So sibling would turn out to be xiong di jie mei. Xiong di jie mei, where xiong di means brother and jie mei means sister. Now, here is a more mature way or so-called more mature way to address your siblings. In Chinese, the younger siblings address their older siblings as elder sister or brother, but older siblings address their younger siblings by name. This is out of respect. In general, you address your elders by title or salutation while calling your juniors by name. Also, like previously mentioned, some Chinese words occur in double. So, dropping one is a more mature way to address the person. Thus, to address your older siblings more maturely, like adults when they grow up, they just drop the final word in older brother or sister. So it becomes jie, the third tone means older sister, or ge, the first tone means older brother. Here are some more ways to use sibling terms. Ge, xiong di, and jie can also be used outside of the family to mean great friends, just like in English. In English, people might say things like bros to mean great male friends, close, like brothers. For example, 兄弟, 这是我兄弟, this is my brother, in a good friend kind of way. 兄弟, just another reminder, in Chinese, when introducing your siblings, we usually directly indicate whether they're older or younger, so we don't use 兄弟 to mean biological brothers. The same goes for sisters. Another example is gomer. This is usually used by males. This is a colloquial term used to mean good male friends. The er at the end gives it an r sound. For example, 跟哥们儿出去玩, to go out with my male mates. Or 姐们儿, this is usually used by females. It's also a colloquial term, and this is used to mean good female friends. Again, the er gives an r sound. For example, 跟姐们去购物, go shopping with my girl friends. Now let's have a look at a revision exercise. Do you have any siblings? Are they your 哥哥, 妹妹, 姐姐, or 弟弟? Let us know in the comments below. And remember the differentiation between the older and younger sisters and brothers. Now you've learned the names of your siblings. In the next video, learn the names of your grandparents.